Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Dental Cafe. So today we are going to discuss about the very interesting topic phrenectomy. In this video, I am going to discuss one of my case of phrenectomy. So let's begin the video. First of all, what is phrenectomy? Look at the video. As you can see, this is a classic example of high label frenum and it is very common. High label frenum is very common. So what is phrenectomy? Phrenectomy means it involves the removing of connective tissue in your mouth which is known as frenum as you can see in the figure which connects your gums and lips to your teeth. As you can see the frenum, a thin connective tissue which is frenum it connects the gum and the lips so we'll remove this part so that the pressure which is created by the tissue will be released so this is we call phrenectomy if this frenum is high it will continuously exert a pressure on the gums and the teeth and leads dental problems this is why there is a need to remove the frenum in high frenum cases there is a different methods of phrenectomy we have a scalpel technique, we have electrosurgery, we can use laser like CO2 laser in lingual phrenectomy. In this video, we are going to discuss about the scalpel technique that I usually prefer to do. We have different techniques of phrenectomy. We have conventional or classic phrenectomy that most of the oral surgeon are usually preferred. Then we have Miller technique, VY plasty and the last one we have the Z plasty what all armamentarium we required to perform phrenectomy so we required local anesthesia and syringe so that we can anesthetize the area for painless surgery then scalpel and scalpel blade blade number 15 so that we can excise the connective tissue next instrument we required is hemostate or artery forceps so that we can hold the frenum and then we can easily excise the part then suture cutting and holding instruments so that we can cut and hold we can hold the needle and cut the suture and then black we required black silk suture suture holding forceps so that we can hold the suture with the help of suture needle with the help of this forceps Last one is the sterile gauge pieces. This is all what we need for the phrenectomy. Also an example of high labial frenum. So what we are going to do, first we are going to anesthetize the area by local infiltrating the local anesthetic solution. And then we will hold the frenum with the hemostate. And with the help of 15 number blade, we will place an incision over the connective tissue. And triangular resected portion of the frenum will be removed in the figure we'll give an incision and the the wound which is left after an incision is in diamond shape then we'll give a blunt dissection done on the bone so that we can relieve the fibrous attachment this is a case of multiple labial attachment as you can see we have a two three attachment so we'll give a blunt dissection so that we can relieve the other fibrous attachment which will create a pressure see after the resection of the triangular part the wound will be somewhat in diamond shape we will suture the diamond shaped wound and cover the area with the periodontal pack and the pack and the suture were removed one week post operatively we will remove after one week overview of the complete phrenectomy this is a pre-operative image of the high frenum attachment and then we'll hold the frenum with the artery forceps and then cut the triangular area with the uh, scalpel blade and after excision you can see a diamond shaped wound is left and then we'll suture that area and place the pack and after one week we'll remove the suture when it is needed why you need to do phrenectomy there is any need this will create any problem yes we need phrenectomy because if we are not going to remove high frenum it will lead to a many dental problems so as you can see we have a high high labial frenum so due to high labial frenum there is a gap in the central incisor this is we call midline diastema 
so there is a gap between your front teeth are caused by excessive tension on the either side and this tension is due to connective tissue of high labial frenum so we have to re uh, relieve this tension or pressure that is by phrenectomy is done otherwise this gap will increase with the time and with the age we have to remove this frenum before ortho, ortho treatment because if we are going to perform an ortho treatment to close this gap and this frenum is high there is a high chances of relapse so we have to remove this frenum before the ortho treatment to close the midline diastema so that we can decrease the chances of relapse second most common problem due to high labial frenum is gingival recession and spacing between dentition as you can say there is a gingival recession because a high lab, uh, labial frenum creates a tension on the gums due to which there is a recession gingival recession so gingival or gum recession along one side due to tension from an overgrown frenum I hope this video is useful for you to understand what is phrenectomy and why we need uh, need to do phrenectomy if you want more such kind of uh, video or case studies do comment on comment section yeah, don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for the latest update